Welcome back guys. Today, we're going to export our racetrack from Blender 3D into the racing game Assetto Corsa. If you want to learn how to make a racetrack from scratch, be sure to check out the full playlist linked in the description. Let's get started. First, we'll need some template files. I've already prepared everything. You can find the download link in the description. One is our track directory, and the other is a Blender file that contains all the required assets we'll need to integrate into our project. I've also included a helper text file that'll guide you through object naming and exporting. Now, open our track project directory. It contains our textures and the .blend file. Open the Blender project and follow along. I've already organized it into separate collections and split large meshes into smaller chunks. Quick reminder, every individual mesh must have fewer than 64,000 vertices. If not, KS Editor won't import it and you'll see an error. I'll show you that later. Now let's rename our meshes following Assetto Corsa standards. Use the Batch Rename tool in Blender. Press Ctrl plus F2 to open it. Rename your road mesh to 1 Road 0. This will be your drivable surface. Similarly, you can create additional surfaces like grass and sand. Let's rename our terrain as one grass zero. For fences and rails, you could use the wall tag to make them collidable. But since we've already created collider walls, we'll skip that. Instead, rename the collider walls as one wall zero one wall one, and so on. This way, KS Editor will recognize them as collision walls. We'll hide them in game later using the render property. Once everything looks good, append the Assetto Corsa tags from the template Blender file. Place them where they belong. The starting line, hot lap start, and sector time markers. Duplicate sector time objects as needed and rename them accordingly. Check your final scene in the collection menu for naming issues. Refer to the screenshot to match your setup. Now, let's export. In the export settings, select Mesh, set scale to 0.01, apply scaling to FBX, all. 
name the file, whatever you like, and export. Next, from the root Assetto Corsa game folder, open KS Editor located in the SDK folder. Load your exported FBX file. Oops, it shows an error saying, our grass mesh exceeds the vertex limit. Close the editor. Let's fix it in Blender. Select the outer part of the terrain and separate it into smaller meshes. Rename them Grass 1, Grass 2, etc. Once done, re export and re import the file into KS Editor. Once KS Editor opens without errors, let's begin the material setup. Use left click to rotate the view and arrow keys to move around. From the Illumination tab, load the weather preset. Right now, everything looks black. That's because we haven't set any textures. Go to the Material tab, top left, right-click on the mesh you want to edit. Load the diffuse texture. Set KS Ambient to 0.2. Set KS Diffuse to 0.2. Adjust Specular to control how shiny the surface looks. Repeat this process for every object. For trees, use the KS Tree Shader and assign the appropriate texture. As for our collider walls, we don't need to render them in-game. Go to the Object tab and uncheck Is Renderable to hide them. Take your time. Make sure every object has its material properly set up. Now go to File, save save it inside the Track Template folder. Make sure the folder name matches the track name. Copy this folder and paste it inside the Assetto Corsa directory. Content. Tracks. Next, 
Go into the UI folder, open the config file, and update the track details, name, description, track type, and number of pit lanes. Now, launch Content Manager, select your track, and play test. And that's it. A quick guide to exporting a racetrack from Blender to Assetto Corsa. If you'd like a more detailed tutorial, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.